Speak up! Speak up! Speak up! Yeah! Yeah! Honey, where are my pants? I just got myself a visor laser. Yeah! Wow, wow, wow. Bark, bark, bark. Bowie, wowie, bark, bark. Get over here. Boom, one shot. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> well, that just deals my pickles. Feel to be owned by potassium. <laughs> it feels pretty miserable. Ah! I like saying Hail Mary because my name's Mary. If it walks like a furnace and quacks like a furnace, <laughs> it's a furnace. Hello? Oh, that's wild. <laughs> Outer wild. <laughs> Space up! Space up! Space up! <laughs> Got COVID, yo. <laughs> no dying today, no sorry. Yeah. I hate you, dragon. Okay. Speak up. Speak up. Speak up. <gasps> Dog, pig, dog, pig, dog, pig, loaf of bread. Is everybody Speak today? Speak up. Speak up. Speak up! I feel like I feel like with Outer Wilds. Okay, no, no, no. We'll get there in a second. We will get there in a second. Oh, I had hair ties in here. Well, okay. I just ran off to find a, a hair thing. Um, we shall see how um, 
We'll see how Auden does for her naps because, or for her nap because Hiya, she's cupcakes. coughing and she is super congested. And last night at about nine o'clock, she just couldn't stop coughing. I felt so awful. And so I had to go in and we, luckily we have a steroid the doctor gave us over the weekend. Um, and so I gave that to her and she did, her cough did kind of calm down just a little bit, but man, it's been really, 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 really frustrating. So we'll see if she actually goes to sleep. I know she's tired cause she didn't sleep very well last night, but whatever, we'll see. We had all these people early today. We had Trekkie, we had Rumi, Grandpa. <laughs> Don't want to give her nightmares with, uh, uh, okay, wait, hold on. No, I don't want that picture. Uh, okay, so we're trying to, we're trying to, um, we're trying to get a picture like printed for my mom's memorial next week. And my aunt Judy has a really, really frustrating friend that she's just really frustrating. She's really frustrating to work with and she didn't like my mom very much. So um, yeah, that was kind of an interesting thing. But anyway, they're trying to contact me on a picture and they chose a picture that I really didn't like. So I can tell they're trying to like change my mind and I'm like, no, I don't like that picture. We're gonna use a different one. <laughs> so anyway, we had Trekkie okay. early, we had Rumi, Grandpa and Hayes. And then Lindsay was like, That's boom, wild. stream started, bam. <laughs> Lindsay Outer right wild. in there and I see Joe. <laughs> How are you Joe? It's so good to see you, Shine Spark. Good to see you, Land Rider. How are you guys? Happy Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday? <laughs> Tuesday, oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I shouldn't even say that. I shouldn't even say the day. I shouldn't even say the day of the week because I never know. <laughs> and I'm hearing other people, we've got Boyaki. Barely passing through, wanted to say hello. It is so nice of you to come and say hello, Boyaki. I'm so glad you're here. And we've got Collector and DJ. Excellent, look at you guys, look at us. Look at us, just just, just getting together, hanging out. Um, I put the book up here, it barely fits, but I think I would actually rather put the cards up there because the cards are like, the book is wonderful, but the cards, the cards, oh my gosh. I think I'll have to sticky tack them there, but I think I moved something of Anders and he's just gonna have to deal with it. So, you know. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, let me see. I want to say, I want to, um, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything anybody's saying. These are all, these are all, um, commands. And then Landrider says, I remembered to pick my seats for my flights to Florida and back. Glad I did now. I would not have been happy if I had to pay a hundred dollars or more for legroom. So we're flying to Boston on JetBlue and we're flying home on American Airlines and neither of them let us pick our seats. So unless you pay extra. So I'm just like, all right. Obviously, we're a family with two little kids, so they're not gonna just seat a random small child with some other random person. Obviously, they'll make it work. But at the same time, like, I don't know. Everything, everything now. Flying used to be kind of glamorous and kind of luxurious. And now it's only luxurious in the way that it is literally a luxury if you even manage to get yourself on a plane. like. Everything, they nickel and dime you for everything, which actually is great if you fly like Spirit or not Spirit, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry, Allegiant or like Frontier and you don't bring a checked bag, they nickel and dime you for everything else. But if you just bring a carry-on, you actually get a pretty good deal. I, we flew Allegiant to Utah and it wasn't like amazing, but it was actually, it was actually better than any, it was better than, it was about the same as any other flight I've had, honestly. It was really, really easy. <laughs> Just glue yourself to the wing. Joe is sick today, but that means I get to be here on a day I wouldn't normally be here. Well, I'm glad you're here. I hope you feel better though. Being sick sucks and I don't wish it on anybody and I especially don't wish it on my baby. <sighs> hey, thanks for the hair tie, Lindsay. Appreciate that. <laughs> Tuesday. Oh, that's so funny you say that, Collector, because my dad says that all the time. I don't know, he always says day, but then when he says like Monday, he doesn't say day, he says Monday. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, so Southwest is uh, first come first serve and it's just whenever you check in. You have to check in the second your flight becomes available to get in like the A group. But um, it's 
Michael. How's it going, Michael? I agree. The traveling in the United States is really, really terrible. And the fact that we don't have any sort of like train system or we don't have, I mean, I guess we kind of do, but it's, Ander was just saying the other day, he thinks the flying, the flying industry is ripe for pickings for some person to come in with tons of money and just upend the industry and do things in a totally different way. Because the only reason any of us fly is because we absolutely have to at this point. And we just, there's, there is such an opportunity for somebody to come in and change the whole industry up, but you have to have lots of money. So it's definitely not gonna be me. A team says we have good public transport in like three cities. <laughs> I remember traveling to Europe when I was 14 and I remember the transport was great. You have tube stations, you ride the subway everywhere. And then we rode trains all over the place. We never flew anywhere. We flew to Paris at the beginning of the summer and then we rented a minivan and drove all over the place. But when we were in cities, we traveled via the subway. Um, but when we had to travel a long distance, we traveled by train and it was amazing. Everybody had like tons of space. And these days I think trains even have like every seat has its own outlet. You can stand up, you can walk around, you see stuff through the window. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So you say that about the airline industry, but to make a million bucks in the airline industry, you start with a billion dollars. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Andrew was like, honestly, like it would, it's ripe. It's ripe for somebody to come in and change it up. But somebody, that person has to have so much money. You know what? Let me send this message to my, I'm just gonna, I have this beautiful black and white picture of my mom. Um, uh, it's black and white and it was taken obviously after she cut all of her hair off. She used to have long, long, long like Barbie hair, but she cut it. I'll never forget the day she came home and had all her hair in a ponytail. She chopped all of it off and had a pixie cut and she had that for the rest of her life. Um, but it's when her hair's short. So she was obviously, um, she was obviously, you know, a mom. She obviously had me and my brother because I remember when she cut her hair. Um, but it's a beautiful picture and I have it framed right now. And my Aunt Judy sent me a picture. I asked her if she could get a picture together. The picture she chose just wasn't a very good one. And she keeps trying to change my mind. And I'm just like, I don't, it's not a good picture. It's not lit very well. It's grainy. It's not, resolution isn't great. Like why would I choose this picture over any of the other pictures I have in my phone? And I was like, well, ultimately this isn't entirely my decision. I have to reach out to my siblings. And both my siblings were like, absolutely not. It needs to be that black my picture of mom. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll roll it up in a tube and put it in my luggage. I don't know. Airlines have an olig olig oligopoly. Did I pronounce that right? In the US. So there's not an incentive to compete. That is actually also true. Can't wait for somebody to start renting out small airplanes. Everyone get your pilot's license. Oh man, that reminds me. When I was in aesthetic school, Andrew was working at Outback Steakhouse. I was in esthetician school. So we were both in like, we were like 20, maybe 21. And I remember there was a girl in my aesthetic class. So I went to school for like skincare and waxing and stuff like that. And I remember there was a, a girl in my aesthetics class that was from Dallas. And um, I didn't know her super well, uh, but I remember Andrew had told me that one of his coworkers, Outback Steakhouse coworkers had his pilot's license. And I brought it up in class and I was like, oh my gosh, my husband has this coworker that has a plane and has a pilot's license. And I'll never forget, she she was kind of sort of like, she and had another girl had kind of been talking and she looked over at me and she goes, oh, my dad has a plane. Okay, Miss Dallas, not everybody, but I wanted to be like, your dad's probably what, in his 60s? I'm talking a kid our age, like a kid who's like 21. I didn't say that, but it was kind of, I don't feel like she meant it to be mean, but I think she just kind of, she was, she was just kind of like, oh yeah, like my dad has a plane. Doesn't yours? I'm like, no, no, my dad is a theater professor, Megan. No, my dad does not have a plane, nor does he have a pilot's license. What the heck? <laughs> I've actually uh, rarely had a really awful, horrible experience flying. Most of the time, it's never the airline's fault. It's usually like the fact that I'm traveling with a toddler or you know that I'm traveling with two little kids by myself. Um, it's mostly just 
that kind of stuff. I've rarely ever had a situation where the airline itself has been really bad. And this time around, I'm not as nervous because I'll have Ander with me. If it were just me and the girls, I'd be a little more nervous. But our flight out to Utah over the summer was great. And you want to know the secret? Any of you that have toddlers? It is not screens. It is painter's tape. Bring a roll of painter's tape. It kept Auden totally preoccupied the whole time. I didn't get to do anything. I didn't get to play any games or watch any movies or anything. She stuck that painter's tape everywhere. It doesn't leave a residue, comes off easily. We stuck it, on, stuck it on the windows, the seats, the walls. She stuck it on me. She stuck it on the seat in front of her, tray in front of her. She loved it. It was great. And I was like, all right, so never traveling without painter's tape as long as I have a toddler. Awesome. Uh, collector misses living out west for the availability of Southwest flights. Never had a bad experience with them. That's who my father-in-law books us through. If he ever books us tickets to go anywhere to like come out and visit him in California, he flies for Southwest or he flies with Southwest for his business. And so he has all these points and they get all sorts of like deals and stuff. Um, but I don't fly often enough to like, I don't fly often enough to have like a favorite airline and I don't fly often enough to really say, oh yeah, well this airline's better than this airline or whatever. I fly so rarely that I'm kind of like, eh, I'm stuck in a metal tube in the sky with a whole bunch of people I don't really want to be around. <laughs> and I'm stuck with the children that nobody else wants on the plane. Charlotte's fine. Like she's, she's, you know, at the, um, uh, she's at that age where like, you know, she doesn't, she's fine. She can play her switch for six hours if I let her. Uh, Mithli, good to see you. So yes, suckers are also really good. Um, anything that you can get to take the pressure off their ears. So I always bring water bottles and then we fill them up with water. Actually, I'll just straight up go get like bottled sodas um, because I know they'll eat, they'll drink those. Speaking of soda, where did mine go? I grabbed one. Looks like I'm streaming without a Dr. Pepper today. Dang it. It's out there somewhere, I know it is, but I feel stupid running off to go get one. <laughs> A-team's like, dude, that would keep me occupied too. I've been making things out of tape for since forever. Yeah, you can make things out of tape. You can take long skinny lines and like put them on the tray table and then like have your toddler peel them or you, you know? Like I am a picker when I get nervous, when I get really anxious. I don't like feeling things on my skin. It's called acne excoriae. I don't have it very um, severely. I know people who have it very severely, but I'm a picker. If I feel something that's like not flush with my skin, I pick at scabs, my lips, I pick at everything because I get really, if I get anxious about things. Um, but um, uh, I like picking, like picking things off, like stickers and things like that, you know? Um, Rumi says, my company had a ton of bad experiences with Southwest, like last summer or something. I kind of feel like they're all the same. I think I've traveled the most on Delta because Delta flies nonstop to Utah, but now Allegiant flies nonstop to Utah as well. And Allegiant, it was just as good as Delta. Although Delta has power, they have little plugs. That's nice. Not everybody, not everybody has that. Ooh, Mithli had a bad experience with Delta though. Well. Uh, I have to go get my doctor ever. Where is it? I know, I know I had it. Okay, hold on. Command time, just a second. Dun, 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 dun. Found it. <laughs> you know what it is, chat. Are you? Um. So that's called general aviation. General aviation is so expensive. You're looking at. Uh, wait, wait, wait. You're looking at insanely expensive, like six dollars a gallon leaded fuel. Yes. They still use leaded, yeah, leaded gasoline, and aircraft are not cheap. Plans to actually use it for long distance travel. You really need an IFR certification. And an aircraft with equipment to fly IFR, and all that stuff is so insane, insanely expensive. Well, then there you go. Like, then that girl that was like, my dad has a plane. I'm like, <laughs> do you like it? Have you guys seen that? Like that? 
I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there's a recording that goes around on Instagram all the time of, and everybody does does it slightly differently, but it's like, do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> they're just lip syncing to it. <laughs> it's always like me uh, getting ready to go to a play group and meeting other parents or something like that. <laughs> so what do you do for work? Oh, do you like it? Do you like it? I don't know. I. <sighs> I'm not trying to be unkind to this chick because she was a relatively nice, nice girl. But like at the same time, I just, that was such an arrogant thing to say. I'm just like, no, my dad doesn't have a plane. And I can guarantee you that most of the people around here don't have planes either. Dallas. Ooh, my battery is running low. I cannot leave a second time for real. <laughs> you pour hot wax on her? Oh, I did many times. Ripped the hair out from her eyebrows or her underarms or something. We'll see how long my, uh... We'll see how long my, um... Controller lasts. So I apparently never turned off my, uh... My, uh, game yesterday. You know what? I'm gonna quit out of it because I'm afraid... I'm afraid that it's not going to work right, and I'm going to have to quit out of it anyway. So, um, wah, yeah, we're going to close it. This, the, so the sound seems fine, but we're just going to reopen it. Haven't had a chance to play any Lies of P. I didn't even play any Metroid Dread last night because um, I was so tired, and I'm still so tired because I didn't sleep very well last night either because my baby was up coughing all night long. Maybe after this memorial is over, maybe after this whole next week is over, maybe I'll finally get back into sleeping okay because I've had so much going on. I have so many things on my to-do list and so many things on my plate. I, I don't know. For an aircraft with 50 gallon fuel capacity, you're looking at $300 to fill the tanks. <laughs> Doll hairs. Dollar bucks. That'll be $300 bucks, please. Oh, is that what happened? I was like, that Outer Wilds looks crazy. So it drew, okay, thank you for explaining that because I thought there was something, it's one of the reasons I restarted the game. I was like, whoa, this looks totally crazy. <laughs> I think I should just restart because I think something's broken. <laughs> okay, okay. I know where I want to go now. Oh yes. We're gonna go to Brittle Hollow because I wanna go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge and figure out how the fruit to get on that quantum moon. Cause I am done with the Ember Ash Hourglass Twins right now. I'm done. I'm, I do not want sand. Ugh. I'm sorry, Boyaki. I tried to get started earlier rather than later. I love that you're, that you're here though. I love that you come hang out. Even if it's just for a for a moment. I love that. I have seen the Garage Sale Bluey episode. <laughs> we quote it sometimes. Oh, you're kind of close. I can't remember exactly, like, everything that's said, but just Muffin just being, like, chaotic old Muffin. <laughs> well, yeah, isn't it dollar bucks? Nine hundred dollar bucks! I haven't seen any of those newer Bluey episodes in a really long time. Um, okay, so it's on the equator, which makes me very nervous. Okay, we're not like racing any sort of clock here in Brittle Hollow, are we? Oh, we kind of are. They're like pieces that fall away. Okay. Okay, wait, that's an escape pod. I don't remember how to get to where I need to go. Uh, there's a... Warp pad. I don't remember... <sighs> okay. We will start here. How is the planet even, like, staying together if there's a big old black hole in the center? 
I hate that so much. Just muffin peeing. I saw a video on Instagram that said something like, tell me which child, like which Bluey character your child reminds you of, and then tell me why m your second born is muffin. <laughs> and you know, it's interesting because my, my um, second born is actually identical to Bingo. No, my siblings want this black and white. <sighs> At the sub-feral. <laughs> I can find, she's not gonna let this drop. She just said, go ahead and bring that picture out for the pro This is my aunt's crazy friend that I don't really get along with very well. She said, go ahead and, and bring that picture for the program. And then I will, um, I'll print this one out and if there's use for it. And I was like, no, don't print it out. That's pointless. The crossroads. Okay. I don't know exactly like where I'm going, but I, oh, wait. Oh no. Oh shoot. <laughs> Dang it. I should have marked the hanging city. Cause I don't know where the heck I'm going now. It's like way down there too. Oh man, I wish I could remember details about my cousin's wedding and dealing with this woman. She is really, really a trip. She's, she can be nice. I think she's just somewhere on the autism spectrum and just doesn't quite I think she's pretty high on the autism spectrum, actually. And I think she just does not, I don't know. I can't really explain it, but it was a, it was a crazy time dealing with her all night long when we were at the wedding. I'm not going any, well, what's the gravity? Oh, the gravity's intense. If I make that, there's no way I'm not going to make that jump. I'm gonna die. The hanging city is like all the way down. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, no! Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah. I got a friend right here. Whoa. Have I seen this? I think I have. Oh yeah, because he's like, <laughs> he'll make it fine. See? How are my vitals? Hayes spent a few cycles trying to reach that specific tower yesterday. It took a half day off to rest my body, mind, and soul, and I chose to play a bit of Outer Wilds. Was that from your race? Is that why you're, like, recouping? Okay, what is this? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm almost at the equator. I should be at the equator. <gasps> Is that the Tower of Quantum Knowledge? <gasps> I think it is. That's at the equator. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. He's like down below me, I think. This woman, um, so when my mom went out to visit my Aunt Judy, she stayed out there for six months last year because she was just not in a position to fly home. And she was trying to get answers and she was seeing lots of uh, doctors and things um, as per like my cousin's recommendations and, and whatnot. And they got her in to see some specialists with their connections. And um, is he down there? Oh, no, he's not. Where is he? Something's down there. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. Oh my gosh. Oh, gravity is so weird. Ah, shoot, I lost it, no! Yeah! I don't know where this is taking me, but it's not into the black hole and that is good. Oh, oh, oh! Oh yeah, that's where I'm gonna go. Nope, I wanna go that way. 
That is a mess of stuff. Oh, I hope my baby sleeps. Honey pie. Poor thing. Oh my gosh, we made it! Tower of Quantum Knowledge, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> because I forget, I have a flashlight, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Why the friend of anyone is involved in the decision process of anything regarding the memorial. It's hard enough to deal with the living around a deceased person to involve a secondary layer of relatives. Last time, so when my mom was out there for six months, um, and before I read all of these things, so this, this woman has been friends with my Aunt Judy for a really long time, and she's super obsessive, and she's, um, like I said, I think she's somewhere on the autism spectrum, but mostly functioning, but um, uh, she, she just, she has a, her way of doing things, and she's had her way of doing things for a very long time, and she claims to be my Aunt Judy's personal assistant, but she's, she's, She's kind of not. She's like a friend that does things for my Aunt Judy because my Aunt Judy says, oh, I need to go through this office and I need to organize it. And she'll be like, I'll do it. I don't know if my Aunt Judy pays her. I don't know. But anyway, so she does a lot for my Aunt Judy just because she wants to do it. And I think she feels like she can do it better. And when my mom went out there last year and was there for like six months, she was like, there is no rhyme or reason to how this woman is organizing things. I can't find anything. The kitchen is all sorts of all over the place. And she claims it's organized, but it's it's not. It's just, everything's all over the place. So she said, I have gone through and kind of straightened up some cabinets, moved like the cleaning stuff away from the food. You know, um, I don't think cleaning supplies and food should be kept on the same shelves. And she freaked out at me and told me that I was coming in and ruining all her work and all this stuff. And I was like, okay, but with all due respect, this is my, this is Aunt Judy's kitchen. This isn't, this isn't hers, her kitchen. This is Aunt Judy's kitchen. And my mom said, I know. So they argued with each other the whole time my mom was out there. And then finally things got so bad that this woman told my Aunt Judy she didn't want to be friends with her anymore and didn't want to have anything to do with her anymore. And she resented my mom a lot because suddenly once my mom was out there, my Aunt Judy didn't need this friend to do everything for her as much as this friend had been accustomed to. And so a couple weeks ago, I got an email saying that she was invited to the memorial. And I was like, that seems odd. She didn't, she didn't even like my mom. She resented my mom. She was mad. And so I brought it up to my sister. My sister was like, yeah, that was kind of weird to me too. And I said, I don't have the energy to fight it. Um, I think it's weird, but I just don't have the energy to fight it. My sister was like, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of odd to me too. And then just two nights ago, my sister was like, listen, I was talking on the phone to my aunt, to aunt Judy and she was the one who brought up her friend. And I just decided to just said, I just decided to just say, you know what? We'd really rather not have her at the memorial. She didn't even get along with our mom and, and we'd really like to not have her there. And my aunt Judy was like, oh, absolutely. I completely understand hundred percent. Like she knows she's a difficult person. And I felt like this thing inside my heart, like release. And I thought, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize I was holding on to so much anxiety about it. <sighs> but I'm so glad she's not gonna be there. But now she wants to get this picture printed and she like won't take no for an answer. Fine, go ahead, print the picture. We're not gonna use it. Um, hello tower, we have arrived upon your knowledge. <laughs> a team's learning that every Susie Gray stream is secretly a just chatting stream, regardless of the game being played. It's funny that you say that because I've thought about naming my streams just chatting streams. This is exactly what they are. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Oh my gosh, we're gonna go. Send those stairs? What? Well, I don't see any other stairs. <laughs> so, I'm gonna say those are the stairs. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh no, oh gosh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
Oh, is it broken? I think I'm supposed to... Oh, I think I'm supposed to... No! That was the opposite of what I wanted! Oh, crap! I'm almost out of oxygen! How do I get up there? Ascend these stairs, and... Where's a gravity crystal when you need one? Will this go up? It's like I've always said, I can talk to like a wall. <laughs> this is one of the reasons streaming works for me. It's because I talk a lot and I always have something to say. Ander doesn't really understand how that works. That is, that is, that is where I need to be. He's like, I don't understand how you can just literally always have something to say. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it to you. It just is what it is. Man, I got so excited. I was the, oh, yeah. I got so excited that I was at the, the. Is that a... Okay, how do you pronounce your name? Is it Mepok or is it Mepok? Mepok, Mepok? Hiya! I watched your VODs from Tears of the Kingdom yesterday, and I just gotta say, I love your energy! And I love you for saying that! I am kind of an energetic person, it's true. But I appreciate that so much. That's what I try to spread, you know? Through my streaming, through, through playing games, I try to spread positivity, joy, happiness, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I love you, random citizen. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Is that? Oh, no. Oh, my. This is a tower shard. What? A tower shard? Have you ever played this game? Me, 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 pack? Me, pack. I'm reminded of a street in Austin called Mopac. <gasps> the trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see the move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. <laughs> Dude, the cactus were moving. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as the unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. <sighs> I know, right? Who would have thought? John, how are you? That rock is unusual for another reason too. It possesses color and texture I've never seen as elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis, this rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what it is, what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? I hate that these things move when you're not looking. It really makes me uncomfortable. I don't like it. Tears of the Kingdom VODs, yeah. Okay, so Maypok, did you love Tears of the Kingdom? Did you cry at the end? <laughs> oh my gosh, I cried. Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner, which explains the grove on whatever it is. You've never played Outer Wilds? Oh, see, I hadn't even heard about it until like, I don't know, how long ago was it? It was like, Three months ago or something, everybody was like, what? You've never played Outer Wilds? And I was like, ah. Pfft. I mean, I don't know. My backlog is gigantic. The only other object we've observed displaying the quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. 
<sighs> Paladroon! Thousand percent. If you want to play it, do not watch anything more. Oh. I don't know. I feel like I'm not making a whole lot of progress. <laughs> it's Stratlog! Happy Quantum Moon Tuesday. <laughs> Get you guys. Look at us. Just hanging out. I love it. It's so great. Ship log's been updated. That's also great. Um, so, so. How? I want to get down there. But I tried to get down there and it didn't work. And now everything's dark and the trees are moving. <laughs> Have I read this? Yes. We've got an angry moon or something that shoots things at me. Okay, but that's not disappearing, though. How could it be disappearing if it had stuff on it? Mm. Any experience of this game is better than no experience. Is it gone? No. What? I don't like these quantum shards. They make me feel highly uncomfortable. <laughs> I still, to be totally honest with you, I still don't fully understand what my goal is. I think I know what my goal is. I don't know. I I don't know. I'm I have lots of questions. We want to get down there. I don't understand how to get down there. I have so many and I've never played a game where I've had so many things to do and literally like I can't I will say the amount of backtracking in this game does get tiresome sometimes. Like when I think, when I, when I before I went live today, I was like, okay, we're gonna go to Brittle Hollow today. We're gonna find that Tower of Quantum Knowledge. And then I was like, ugh, it takes so long to get there. So long. I have entered the Twilight Zone. This is the scary door. That's what I say every time something weird happens, like in our house, I'll be like, I think I just entered the Twilight Zone because, oh, I have another thought about that rock in the lake bed cave, but once again, I don't want to travel all the way over to the lake bed cave. It takes forever. Oh, entrance, what? Up? No, down. Yeah. Oh, I think this is where I came from. <laughs> There's so many. I've never realized how much I love ice cream. What? <laughs> Walk up the stairs. This thing's broken. I need Ultra Hand. I've discovered that is exactly what I need in this game right here. I need Ultra Hand and Fuse would be really, oh no, and Ascend would be really nice as well. I have a jetpack, but like. <sighs> Did I not? Did I not get here fast enough? Like, did that fall apart later? Or like, while I was <laughs> backtracking all the way down here? Okay, so Maypoc, if you're still here, um, what kinds of games do you like to play? Obviously you're a Tears of the Kingdom fan, which A plus in my book. I love Zelda so much. It's a huge part of my childhood. It's Mac. How are you, Mac? Ooh, Paladrune still needs to beat Tears of the Kingdom. Get some tissues ready. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm on the right track, but the wrong direction? No. The right, th right thought process. Well, everything is broken. <laughs> Which makes sense because the whole planet is breaking, so. I, I, I want to get to the quantum moon. I want to get there. I tried to land on it, went right through it. Not happening. Am I just supposed to. Gravity is 1.4. 1. It's like, yeah, we're very high. Paladrun's done everything story-wise except actually beating the final boss, but I want to do more shrines first. 
That is an excellent idea. My opinion. I, I had a really bad habit of just finding shrines and then just activating the warp pad and then leaving. I had to do so many shrines at the very end because I just hadn't, I just hadn't done them. <laughs> That's my bad. <sighs> the only thing I can think of is that that, f that, wait a minute, but that isn't even connected up there either. Like see right here, that's not connected either. So, oh my gosh. Good day in the morning. Yeah, that's what my thing was. I was like, I just want to warp around. I just want to be able to get around quickly. But I didn't take the time to do the shrines. The dragon, collecting all the dragon tears and, um, I cried multiple times in that game. I cried when I very first played it, a very first jump. And then I cried with all the, collecting all the dragon's tears and I cried at the very end. I cried a lot. <laughs> It was so great though. It was such a wonderful experience. And I and I was so grateful I got to experience it with other people, both through streaming it and also just through like comments through my YouTube videos and stuff. Really cool experiencing um, a game like that and an experience like that with so many, so many fans. It was really, really fun. I'm at a loss. And so um, I also am, I don't have oxygen. Yeah. Hey, yeah. okay, Elias. Yeah. Wait, A-Team says... I'm on the right thought process? Whoa. Whoa. Ah! We're falling! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? No! Where am I? Oh, that's right. I know where I am. I always am here. Oh! <gasps> What? Oh. This whole thing is now just like floating around in space. Oh my gosh. No, no. And it's still working and everything. Look at it. It's like, yep. Yeah, we're. You have got to be kidding me. How do I get there, under there? Oh my gosh. <gasps> what, we're gonna do this in hey, space? I think you're really cool. I like you a lot. Maybe we can hang out. Yeah, maybe we can hang out or something. Oh my gosh. Paladroom, thank you so much for the follow. I'm, I'm almost out of fuel. Oh, dang it. I just, I don't, I <laughs> So okay, so 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 we're here now. Wild, <laughs> outer wild. <laughs> Space! Hey, bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Okay, okay. So like, trees. Where? Where? Where are the trees? Oh, <gasps> what is this? Mm. I'm not gonna be able to. Is that a, oh, it needs a scroll. Wait a minute, did I do this right? Oh, did I do this right? I have so many questions. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completely, you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep. What? On your pilgrimage, whoa, on your pilgrimage. <laughs> oh my gosh, stay down, stay down. <gasps> We're gonna die. The quantum moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the quantum moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. What? Be curious on your journey. I'm going to tell people that now. <laughs> be curious. I feel like I do the Tignotaro sigh anyway. <sighs> After every time I laugh. <laughs> mm. Um. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I missed what Max said. 
Um, oh, and Maypox says, please don't tell me there's not 900 Gorogs in Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, I think there's a thousand. <laughs> yes. So as much as I love Tears of the Kingdom, it did not, um, hunting Koroks didn't really interest me. It didn't really interest me um, in uh, Breath of the Wild either. Like it was fun and it was okay, but like, I don't know. It was too much. It was, it was, it was too much. Maypox says, I loved both Breath, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom both. And I really like basically every game type, but competitive shooters. Hey, me too. The only first person shooter I really like is Metroid Prime. It's the only one. Oh, and Halo. I can play Halo. That's good. Um, Mac says, works nuts and I'm tired. I'm sorry, Mac. I missed that earlier. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. Susie, help! I need to find my friend, but I packed a backpack that's like literally twice the size of me, and now I can't get to my friend. Um, okay, we're flying around using oxygen, so that is awesome. So this needs a scroll in it. Tree? No. Trees, trees. Down here. Yeah. Cutting it close. Trees. No! Trees! Were there trees somewhere? Crap! Ah, oh, beans. Dang it! It's Scarecrow! Scarecrow, do you love Halloween? Just out, just out of curiosity. I think the reason there's so many Koroks is so anyone will leisurely find a healthy amount. Yeah, that's probably true. You come across enough of them to, to make it possible that you, without going out of your way, you can still beat the game and have enough like space to do what you need to do. I loved Tears of the Kingdom. I thought it was a perfect game. Absolutely perfect. I can't think of the last time I cried that much in a game. It was probably, probably Final Fantasy VII, like original. <gasps> Okay, wait, mark the location. Can I really, it would be really excellent to know how to warp in this game. Cause I still don't really fully understand how the warping situation works. Let me go back and check the ship log. There it is, yeah, uh-huh. Quantum shard. Quantum Shrine. Oh, that freaking cave. I do not want to go back to that cave, I will not lie. Hestu tells you you can't expand it anymore after a certain point for each inventory. I guess that makes sense. If you have a thousand Korok seeds, you'd be able to carry like a hundred bows and arrows or something. So really, the collection of it is just for the collection of it. I mean, yeah, you get to expand your inventory, but it's not. Oh, at least we can mark that on the, that is helpful. <sighs> okay, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Nomai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule, to explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Okay, but wait. They built the shrine on the quantum moon. Oh yeah, I've done, I've been to Dark Bramble and I've screamed. The Nomai hypothesized that this shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon. The Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Giant's Deep. How did I miss that? Everything that has to do with quantum, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like the sound it emits. I don't like the way that it moves around when nobody's looking. Chaos, how are you? <laughs> Allergic to Dark Bramble. I do not like Dark Bramble. And there's a way that you can... Okay, wait. Oh my gosh, I can't keep everything straight. There's a way you can stay away from the anglerfish, but I can't get in there. I can't get inside. Maybe it has to do with the hanging city. Maybe you can get in there from the hanging city. No, 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 the sunless city. 
Why is the Hanging City attached to the anglerfish fossil? I know my city suspended beneath Brittle, Brittle, Hollow, Brittle Hollow's northern glacier. The city is divided vertically into four districts. My streams always summon chaos. It's just constant chaos. Oh, Maypak, I'm the same way. The music in Tears of the Kingdom is like some of the best. The only other thing I can really compare it to for me in my recent experience is um, the Final Fantasy VII remake. The way they changed and were able to kind of make the music like grow and kind of change with each so each boss has like a few phases and the music changes with each phase but they took the original music and like they didn't do the same thing tears of the kingdom did though now that i think about it where they put little tiny bits and pieces of it like here and there the way that they brought the music together and put zelda's lullaby in the middle of this and and all that stuff it was just it was just a masterpiece i don't know what that's like to think in music I don't know what that's like. My mom did that. My mom could think in music like that. That's why she could write music. I can't do that. I can't do that. And I wish I could, but I don't think that way. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I need to go to the sunless city. Yeah. Why isn't the sunless city connected to the anglerfish? You know what? That's probably because I need to get there first. Okay, so there's more to explore at the Sunless City. I think I know how to get there. I think you have to get there through the escape pod. Yeah. Okay, we're going to mark that location. That's where we're going to go. Because then I should be able to figure out a way to... Go back to Dark Bramble. Because I don't want to go back there until I figure out how to evade what lives there. No! No! It was so frightening. If I can find the VOD, I'll post it in Discord. <laughs> so scary. Ah, I'm a jumpy gamer anyway. Like, I get really, really nervous when I play games. Like, I, it doesn't take much to make me, like, jump and scream. And this is no exception. <laughs> I showed it to no, Charlotte. She it has to be this like, way. It has to be perfect. No, she didn't no, seem as no. like. I will not I mean, settle for anything less. I, I don't know. It certainly didn't like give her nightmares matters. or anything. Thankfully. I cannot see you when it works. Ah! No! Oh crap! No! Dang it! I, apparently, my chat is paused. Claynars is here, so it's time to party. How's it going, Claynars? How are you? Do you love... Oh, did I crack? Oh, I landed on a tree. Almost, kind of? I did. I landed on a tree. I landed on a tiny little... You must be an Outer Wilds fan. Ooh, did you guys see that? That was awesome. Aw, oh, man, get it! Oh, no, I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Never mind, never mind. I was thinking of the lake bed. Flashlight, yeah. Okay, where's the hanging city? Sunless city, what? <sighs> Can I keep things straight? And I'm missing things in chat, hold on. Um, <laughs> sunless, is Susie going to Seattle? Um, something, something brought you here. Fate, destiny, a horse. Um, DoorDash did with my grocery delivery. <laughs> if you hover over the arrow on the connecting lines, it will help show where they're connected. Oh, that's good to know. I also went to a Final Fantasy concert years ago. Um, uh, I took Charlotte, my nine-year-old, to see the Final Fantasy VII Remake concert. And I was absolutely just enamored. But they didn't do Genova. And that was the entire reason we went. Because Charlotte loves the Genova theme, and they didn't do it. And I was really, I was really bummed out. We drove two and a half hours to the concert and stayed overnight in, like, Fort Worth, Texas. And I was, I was really disappointed. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's exactly what um, I need in Dark Bramble. Yeah, the fact that you are a space explorer and you have no weapon is beyond me. How is that even... 
what the heck, man? Like, what? <laughs> that is so unfair. Okay, is this where we go? We have found an enormous cavern. Right? Yeah. This is the start. Okay. We're heading to the Sunless City. Really wish there was a war. I wish, I wish there was a shrine with a warp pad. That would be great. That would be so great. <sighs> okay, we're going down. We're going down, down. It's somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. Remember this, this is hard. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upward through them to the opening above them. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious, but swift. So continue forward. I remember struggling with this. And then go left. Right? No, this is right. I remember having trouble with this. Being like, go left? What are you talking? Oh, I see it. I Okay, yeah, yeah, we got it better this time. Yeah, okay. Clean Arts, have you beat this game? Beaten? Eaten this game? Oh. Claynars likes watching people play it for the first time. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Let's prepare better. Dark Bramble does just need to go away. Dark Bramble is so scary. They did such a great job with the feeling in that place. It's very, very frightening. Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The the bridge Malori and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. What bridge? That is not a bridge. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Trying to hurry. Trying yeah. to hurry. Yeah. We're going through this? Uh, yeah, we are. Okay. You're doing well. There's only a little further left to go. Reach the shelter site. You rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Yeah, but like, the sand still fills up. Wait. Oh. The sand still fills up their their place, so like they're not even safe. Yeah. Shortcuts would be great. Super, super great. You know, like in Lies of P, you know, where they like, oh, this is the place I got here literally with like 20 seconds to live and refilled my oxygen. Do you remember that? That was really great. Okay, this is one down there. Oh my. Okay, all right, here goes. Nothing, I guess. <gasps> Skeletons, which is really, really exciting. What am I looking for here? I don't even remember. Why am I going here? Um, I can't remember. What, what, am, I, what am I supposed to find here? How do I not, how do I not have like a log on my, oh, but there's, oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, this, maybe. Yeah, that's right. They couldn't stay here though, because they were, the sand was coming anyway. So how did they build this entire city? Oh, I'm going to get lost. Do these move? <gasps> Sand's rising. Oh my gosh! Hurry! Hurry. High energy lab. Um. No! No, no! 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 What is going on? Okay, well, now they're gone. Oh! Dang it! <laughs> dang it. <laughs> That was so bad. And I know I'm missing things in chat. Hold on, I'm in a hurry. Cause I'm stuck. No, not. These caves are so frightening. I hate these caves. I am not a claustrophobic person, but these caves are the worst. Oh my gosh, they're so scary. I think I wasted too much time, did I? Oh my gosh. <gasps> I've, I've found it! Get me out of these caves. 
High energy lab. What's the high energy lab for? I don't even remember what it did or what it does. Oh. I am scared. I found it. It was really close. That sand was coming. Everything looks kind of broken. Sketchy broken. Huh. Huh. No. Don't lose it now. Don't stop me now. <gasps> Am I in the right place? Oh, I gotta go back. I did it! <laughs> I did it. Yay! We found it! Oh, yes! Yes. I'm so glad. Skeletons? Okay. Good. Good. I mean, not good. You know what I mean. Oh. What? Warp cores? Am I supposed to go, like, put those in the... Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> Something's happening. Cool. N nothing. Okay, I'm missing so many things in chat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can't replay it myself, so the next best thing is watching other people do it. I totally get that. 100%. Bye, um, Maypak! Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. I'm so sorry. Like I said, I missed things because I was in a hurry and I wanted to make sure I didn't die in the sand. Johnny. I like the touch stuff before rending appro reading approach. You mean like <laughs> grabbing onto things and like before actually doing any sort of no like reading? Today, no <laughs> Just being like, yeah, I'll take this. Yeah, but wait, why are there missing warp cores? Why are some of them dark and some of them are light? Because I should find some information that I can read instead of touching before I read. <laughs> Why you gotta call me out like that? <laughs> Whoa, here's a big thing. Okay. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Raimi and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time, elap time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at the destination. This is making my head hurt. Initial part, things first. Our experiment setup will have a pair, will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Oh, I gotcha. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the, the corresponding black hole. What? No, it is not. Maybe, I don't know. Where's the other scroll? No, I, I need to drop it. What is unknown? Man, I'm gonna run out of time. How, do, how, how do I put this? Okay, there we go. So, so, well, okay, wait. An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we've de decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. Of note, Raimi, Yarrow requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Raimi and I are about to run a test one. Oh, I missed one. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. Yeah. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. I... What did I do? I did something. I appreciate the Lord Chaos. Always. Well, when I'm, like, running out of time? 
Yes, I'm like, I have to hurry through all this scary, scary sand. I still don't get it. I still don't understand. Oh, there's another one. That, that, these are, obviously that's the hourglass. Oh, hello. Okay. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis. Creating a 22-minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Ramey and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology to be able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large, eno large enough would be Ash Twin. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas pie. My pun was unintended, Ramey. So I believe it's you who is, who's aeriform. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. But the time loop is 21 minutes. So they messed with like the time space continuum and now they're messing with me. I think. The Ash Twin project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. That's why there are so many warps on Ash Twin. What if we used warp towers like the one we have on the White Hole Station to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Oh, wait. Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant's deep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we could model the timber hearth tower after a geyser mountain. Oh, is the time loop 22 minutes? Oh, I thought it was 21. Okay, so... Dog, pig, dog, pig, dog, pig, loaf of Okay, so bread. these are all the symbols. Oh, we're on Ember Twin, aren't we? I was like, what is that sound? That sounds like the, that sounds like the sand. Oh yeah, that's because it is. Fancy that. Yeah, what the heck, man? Why not just use words? Why do you, why? Because these don't even look like, okay, so, Okay, I do recall theorizing that you can warp to all the different planets via Ash Twin. But, or, or we could just label them like regular scientists. So then, oh, we've got another floor. Oh, this is where the broken door is, isn't it? Boop. Yep. Okay. So then... I still don't understand... Yeah, what did this do again? I moved this over here? Oh, I gave that power. Or did I not? I think I did give that power. So then where does this power source go? Oh, I think that's where it normally was. Because it's usually coming out of that door right there. So if we give this power then, what does this do then? Oh. Oh, is that where you put the warp cores in? What? Well, I guess we'll see what happens. 
Put a dark one in there, maybe? Check it out, 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 check it out. Go play with the holes. <laughs> Okay, if we remove a light one and put just one in there that doesn't even have one. Okay. And if we took if we put two black ones in there or dark Have I been to WHS? What is WHS? So the only thing that happens that causes anything to happen is if you put one dark one and one light one in there. Whoa. Oh, white hole station. I have. I've been there multiple times. I don't think I've done a ton of um, exploring around there. I'm so confused on what this has to do. Like how this, What would happen if you retrieve the scout before it enters the black hole? I wonder. Okay, but... I feel like this game is too smart for me. Like, I feel like I am just so not smart or clever enough <laughs> to understand what is going on. Throw it into the white hole? Oh. The white hole doesn't seem to be trying to pull it in. The black hole does. It is coming out of the white yeah! hole before it actually goes into the black I am so hole. Smart. That's so weird. Yeah, it comes out before it Big brain time. There's a weird Easter egg death here if you'd like it. <laughs> Lay it on me. Um I don't know how long I've been in the time loop, but um, I tried to retrieve it before it entered the black hole, but it still came out of the white one. It still came out of the white one though. What if I yank the black hole when it's duped? I don't know if I can. <laughs> I, don't, I was gonna say, I don't think I can. Okay, wait. Oh, it's uh, all of it's filling up with sand. We're all gonna die. Okay, cool, great. I'm, I'm cycling right now. Like, I know this is significant. I know this is a really big discovery, but it doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand how I'm supposed to. Wait a minute. Like, obviously, those are the warp things that are on every planet. And there's one on the sun station. But I don't know how to activate those, because sometimes they're activated and sometimes they're not. They don't seem to activate unless I warp to them first. I mean, we're going to die here anyway. Like, there's no... 
Yeah, I can't make connections here just yet. I'm very confused. Although I am grateful that Ash Twin allows you to warp. I can't tell what any of those are though. Like, okay, that's probably Giant's Deep right there. Cyclone, kind of. But like, that's probably to the Ash Twin. But like that? I can't tell what any of those are. That looks like ice. Maybe the interloper? And that, one of those is Timber Hearth, but I don't know which one. This one, because it looks like a geyser? So then what's this one then? It doesn't look like Dark Bramble. Man, this is a long, slow, drawn-out death. <laughs> Just gotta wait for this. Oh, I guess, no, it's not. I guess we can leave out this door. Oh my goodness. I thought I was stuck here. I am not. Okay, where's my ship? Mm, it's kind of far. Maybe it's buried. There's a really good chance it's just... Eh, there's a really good chance that it is under the sand. Pretty extra sure that's the case. Yeah, so see, I can't activate this. At least as far as I know. See, yeah, it does have a warp core in it, doesn't it? I never knew what that was. Um, but okay, that's a warp core, but this one has a white one. Yeah, so this is an exit. Hmm. Maybe the one, maybe the one on Ash Twin is the sun? Does it warp to the sun? Because they were like, wow, that is really close to the sun. And obviously I don't want spoilers, but I just, I'm just thinking out loud. Because I know there is one on the sun station, but I can't figure out how to get there. Because I'm pretty sure that one... Oh yeah, here comes our... Here comes our timeline. Or our, here comes our time loop. Yeah, make sure to put on sunscreen. I hope she got... She's gotten some rest. She's coughed every once in a while and... How do I get to the White Hole Station now? When my ship is buried all the way under the... The sand. I can't get to the ship now. We can go to the White Hole Station after I this everything dies, you know. Yeah, the ship's covered. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. No, it's there goes the sun. Do 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 do. There goes the sun. <laughs> and I'll say it's all right. Spoiler, it's not. It's not all right. Yeah, I've got a pretty great view here of the destruction of the universe. It's going to be pretty great. Just going to just wait for it to happen. This music always reminds me of the... Oh, no, that's Brittle Hollow. I thought that was the White Hole Station. I've been to the White Hole Station. I have been to the White Hole Station... Okay, there's the... Okay, here's our... Man. Hopefully it's fast. Remember when I sang that to you in Alcondros? I don't remember that. Um... Was that during a watch party? Or was that... When was that? Someone who played the game can tell me. Do marshmallows roast when the sun explodes? <laughs> I imagine that they all roast at the same time. Yeah, this game is too... Like, my brain... My little square brain can't 
handle all the scientific mumbo jumbo hoopla that that they're throwing at me. It was during a watch party. What were we watching? This does sound vaguely familiar. Yes. We're going to the White Hole Station. Oh, first we're gonna read our ship log. That's what we're gonna do because that. Hey, it's Jeff Lindsay. Sorry, Jeffrey. Do you want me to call you Jeffrey? Jeff. Jeff Lindsay. Jeffrey. Okay, we've been there. Yep. Oh, <laughs> that was all the updating that happened. Great. Each design, okay, designs for each of the towers on the Ash Twins equator. Each tower warps to a different planet. So it does warp to the sun. Because it says, although many know my, we're quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet. Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp, de warp destination. The towers allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all the other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. Warped objects appear to arrive before they depart. Nomai discovered they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp cores. The Nomai wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy, as well as an advanced warp core to handle these energies. Ash Twin was proposed as a location for the project. So our time loop is... Okay, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> oh, you can hover over the arrows. The negative time interval measured at the Whitehole Station was further investigated at the High Energy Lab. Towers on Ash Twin were modeled after the White Hole Station. So, so can you? A 22 minute negative time interval. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm not smart enough for this game. Not smart enough. Okay, we're gonna go to the White Hole Station. Yeah, I am so smart. And do some reading. So going to the White Hole is like arriving early to an appointment. Going through the White Hole, but you can't go through the White Hole though. You can come out of it, but you can't go into it. Yeah. Yes. War. War it be. Where is it? Oh, I need to not be up on... Okay. No. No, no. Oh, that's because I have it marked on my map. Okay. The interloper Whitehall Station? That right there? Yes? Yes? I think that's it. We just have to find it. it I can't actually mark it on my map, I don't think. Can I? So you come out a white hole and 22 minutes later, your past self goes into a black hole in the first place. So when I wake up, it's like coming out of a white hole, is what you're saying? No, 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 no. When I wake up, Like, I legitimately cannot wrap my brain around this. I don't get it. That's, oh, that's dark bramble. I don't like that. I think that's it right there. I think I found it. Looks promising. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. But it's so Wait a minute, what? Where is the white hole station? That's the white hole right there. Okay, Claynars tells me not to worry, I'll get it later. Okay, all right, so it doesn't all have to make sense right now. I don't wanna, there we go. No, no, I don't wanna go to the sun. <laughs> I don't know where the white hole station is. It's not showing up on my map. 
Yeah, I get, but that's my problem. I get too much speed going, and then I miss it <laughs> every time. Do I have to like wait for stuff to come out of the white hole? Because everything eventually. Is this the white hole station right here? No, it can't be because there's nothing around it. At least not yet. Wait, wait, wait. Come on now. What is that little thing that I'm attached to? Ah! Ah! I thought I was gonna miss it. <laughs> oh my gosh. When you hit the 22 minute mark, you actually appear 22 minutes in the past. The Nomai, I guess, found a way to induce this effect without actually going into a black hole. Man, my brain is like scrambled eggs right now. So, everything that, yeah, no, I legit cannot wrap my head around what is happening. Ooh. This is, that's, that's, wait, no, that's part of Brittle Hollow. I think. Because everything just, yeah, that's part of Brittle Hollow. I must be in the wrong place, so oh, no. How did they build? <gasps> oh, that's it, that's it, right there, there it is! Ah! Yeah, I know, my cockpit, my cockpit is damaged and I need to go fix it, but I couldn't see that for some reason. I don't know why I couldn't see it. It was very, I don't know, I don't understand. Okay, okay, so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna read up on everything. Yeah, okay. Oh. You could not pay me enough money to travel in space. Nope. Nope. No way. Absolutely not. Okay, so this is the white hole station. I've been here. And I've read all this, but I... If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with the corresponding astral body. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done this before. So here... Okay, so yeah, this one has a dark... Yeah, I've, I've been here and I've read all of this. But I don't... No, absolutely not, even if I was tethered. <laughs> no. I've watched scary movies. I've watched space movies. I know what happens out in space. <laughs> I watched Battlestar Galactica. No. I could never get to space. I could never handle getting to space. Maybe being in space would be okay if I could just warp there. But it's the getting there. It's the Gs, all the force on your body. Oh, there's no way. Mm-mm. Okay, so, oh wait, this goes down. Do I have my light on? Nope, I do now. <laughs> I do seem to remember this and I remember being confused by it. I don't really remember. What? 
I did see The Martian Scarecrow. I also read the book. I loved it. I, the book kind of differed, or the, yeah, the movie differed a little bit from the, the ending of the movie was far more exciting than the ending of the book. Um, I liked them though. I love sci-fi stuff. I don't like scary sci-fi stuff, but I really like sci-fi. I loved Battlestar Galactica. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've done this before. I have stood on this platform and I have been, I've been warped to Brittle Hollow. I actually think that takes me to the warp core, doesn't it? Or the core station or the core whatever. Jeff Lindsay asks, would you prefer having your body completely disassembled and reassembled via Star Trek transporter? I don't know, it depends, does that hurt? I was actually thinking about that. I'm playing through Metroid Dread right now for the second time. And there are like warpy type things. And I guess her body doesn't get like disassembled. There it is, boop. But, oh, I thought this was gonna send me to like the, the core. Oh, like the forge. I was wrong. Yeah, I've done this before. So now, once you warp there, then you can warp back. But you have to warp there first, which is why I haven't been able to get to the sun because I can't figure out where you're supposed to go. Like which warp thing is supposed to take you to the sun station. But maybe, but it must be at the Ash Twin because they've multiple, they've pointed out multiple times now oh, that the sun is not a planet. I haven't gone in all the warp stations there. What did that do? I don't think that did anything. Greetings, Napsy! Yeah, you have to actually get there first. Like all the planet warp stations. Oh! Yeah. So, whoa. Are we still on, are we on Brittle Hollow right now? Yes? Yeah, we are. Okay, so in order to activate it, you have to warp there first. So you have to find whichever warp platform warps you there first. So I can't get to the sun, or I'm sorry, there's another warp path, there's another warp place somewhere. I don't remember, it's in my ship log, but there's another warp place somewhere. I think it's one, I think it's on Ember Twin actually, that I can't figure out how to get there. I can't figure out how to make that one work. But now that I think about it, it's probably the one that's on Ash Twin that warps you over to Ember Twin. And then I think there's gotta be another one that warps you to the sun. Just consider that the crew of the International Space Station do spacewalks fairly regularly and they've never had anything go wrong except for losing wrenches and other tools. <laughs> I don't want to travel in space. Just like I don't wanna go down into the bottom of the ocean either. I don't ever, no. Uh-uh. No, absolutely not. I asked my brother one time when Alien Covenant came out, and I don't like scary movies, but um, I'm intrigued by them, but I can't actually watch them because they haunt my dreams and make me impossible to deal with the next day because I don't sleep. Um, but I remember... No! Stop it! I want to go back to my ship! Gosh dang it all to... Heck. Heck and heck. Okay, so now what I wanna try is I wanna try going to Ash Twin. How much time do I have left in this time loop? I wanna try going to Ash Twin and trying to warp to the sun. That's what I wanna do. But you have to, do you have to? Absolutely not, I don't want to go under the sea. No, absolutely not. Why won't this let me go up? Why? Why? Oh, because I need to go down? No, I need to go out. Wait, what? Where do I need to go? I need to go around. Up? Out. No. Where? How do I get out to my ship? I don't know. Oh, right there! Okay. All right. I knew it was around here somewhere. Um, yeah, no, I have no interest in, cause the ocean is basically like space, but here on earth with us. Like, we don't know what's down there. <laughs> no, absolutely not. But yeah, the, the, like the premise of Alien Covenant is these couples that go to basically like, 
where, where, why did my ship go away? I guess we're hoofing it. What happened? <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, my, my, I asked my brother one time, I was like, or no, I just told him, I said, you could not pay me enough money to go to a different planet with my husband and like try to like have babies and colonize it. <laughs> and had to, and my, my brother was like, oh, I would totally go do it. And I was like, what? What do you mean? You've seen those movies. You know what happens. Like, have you ever watched an alien franchise movie before? Goodness gracious. And he was like, yeah, no, I would totally do it. 100%. I was like, okay, well, I would not. But yeah, the ocean is basically like space on land. I know, what happened to my ship? I don't understand. But you know what? At this point, I might, or, I might as well yeet myself into the sun because now I'm gonna run out of fuel before I actually find my ship. Where is my ship? <laughs> this is the question that asked, gets asked the most. I can, I, I know where the space pod is, escape pod. But like, this doesn't do me any good. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna launch ourselves into the ship, into the sun. I can't even keep straight what I'm talking about. And then we're gonna go to Ash Twin and we're gonna try and warp to the sun. No crashing deaths. I have not crashed and died today, thankfully. I'm getting better. I don't remember how I've died, but yeah, I suffocated one time. But like, it's all part of the, oh yeah, all the, I, I knew that about the warping. You have to be aligned with the warp pad. And so I remember, I think it was the warp point that was on Brittle Hollow. I stood there for an entire rotation to see if that would warp me to the sun because I remember seeing the sun's warp pad go directly over me. And I was like, oh, I've totally got it. I've nailed it. I know this. But yeah, that's, that's I've, I've known that's how the warping works. The problem is I can't figure out exactly which warp places to go to. Okay, I don't think I have any, well, maybe I do. Anything new? Where is it? There's like one that's on, there's like one that's on a planet. There's like a picture of it. It's like a warp thing. There's a picture of it somewhere around here. I don't know where it is. It's around here somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere around here. Right here. So that is on the North Pole of Brittle Hollow. It's covered in snow and ice. There's a uniquely shaped Nomai ruin on the surface. I'm pretty sure that is the one that I tried. I mean, it says there's more to explore here, but I'm going to go to Ash Twin first. Because <coughs> I had that in my, I had, whoops, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I had that in my, my plans. I was like, you know what? I just need to go to Ash Twin and I need to warp at every single point. And then somehow along the way, I always get distracted. Because <laughs> this game is so distracting. I have so many distractions. Okay. We're gonna engage in autopilot. We're gonna accelerate and then we're gonna abort. Then we're gonna slow it down. Slow down. Auto tune. Oh, now I'm a robot. I'm pretty sure, but see, because streamer bot, it didn't, it didn't cut off my my thing because this isn't. This probably isn't harmony anymore. I'm peanut butter, and you. Oh, wrong button. You are jelly, and we're so happy on our little piece of bread. I remember the day that I first saw you sitting across the cupboard with your little jelly friends. You are sweet, and I am chunky. You're low fat. Well, I'm working on that. Cause I'm peanut butter, and you are jelly. And we're so happy on our little piece of bread. Okay, but for real, how did they build these towers on this sand planet when, like, it's all covered in sand? 
how are how is those things i don't understand like there's nothing left except kind of a slight tower right there oh to which i can come out of i think i don't think you can go inside that tower i'm pretty sure you have to go in it wow what am i doing wascally rabbit <laughs> A small eight wagged queechel ascends the liquid twain. Then liquid flows, its clip it can't maintain. Yeah, we can't go down now. Stall makes the twain dry as it was before, and the small eight wagged queechel ascends the twain once more. I don't know how I could explain my laughter right now, so I'm trying so hard to destroy face. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> Disney Electrical Parade? We've been watching a lot of Disney parades lately. We're going to have a wowie. A wowie? Yes, that's what I said. A wowie. <laughs> we waste the secret weapon! Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll just we'll just wait a wound, I guess, for the towels to appeal. I don't know where those go. Michael says, Did I remember you saying Andal would put the phone down for a few minutes when talking to you and then come back and you wouldn't have noticed? <laughs> I think back in the day that it that had happened. Yes. That has happened before. I've been cut off before talking on the phone and I can't tell because it just there's no there was no like there was no cut sound or anything and so I just think they'll be quiet yeah They're on the equator mm. okay we need to go to the equator buckle up bottle cup <laughs> But still, we came over here and there was like nothing. Oh, but now I don't have my mini map. Oh, but they won along well the 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 thing ones. Yeah, the thing. No. Okay. Well, oh, see. Oh, nope, that's my ship. <laughs> Equator. Here we are. You just gotta wait for that sand, sand thing. Oh, does it? Oh, that's helpful. Just sitting and waiting and standing and staring and sitting. Just lots of sand, lots of sand. Lots of stay sane. Oh, DJ said he was messing around with Streamabot. Trying to figure out how we could stop a voice and we stalled it. Still don't know how to do that. Because ugh, this is so frustrating. I'm just supposed to stand here and just wait? Those towels are huge. I don't understand. <laughs> Bill Cipher not being able to say it's ours. <sighs> Bill Cipher! Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. There it is. It's coming. So, so... Am I in the right place? Like... Those towers are supposed to be, I know those towers go right along where this thing goes, which doesn't make any sense to me. I can't hear Susie's voice going up and down, but my mind's filling in the blanks. <laughs> yeah. We're just supposed to stand here and just wait for it to, for those towers to show up? How did they build them? I mean, like, for the love. Oh, maybe they don't go all around the entire planet? I thought they did. Maybe they don't. 
I'm just gonna follow this this feller. Oh, I gotta go get Charlotte in like 15 minutes. Ugh. I don't want to follow it. I want to get ahead. Of oh, 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 okay. So they don't go all the way around. So that is the sun. Oh my gosh, that's the sun. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. All right. I think that's the sun. Yeah, because it's like this, you know, like the sun. <laughs> you know what I mean? I swear I've done this, though. Maybe I'm wrong. <sighs> Landing mode. That's helpful. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Down. Down. Oh, no. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Okay. Down. Sure. Whatever. Okay. Let's get out. I don't think I'm even on the... Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. This one's broken! What? No wonder I haven't been in this one yet. Can't you meditate for a certain amount of time? <laughs> How the fruit do I get in there? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me! That this giant column of sand- What the? Down there? What? Is there like a... You're, you're supposed to go in from the bottom? What? Where's the send when you need it? I mean, like, come on. You're telling me that that giant pillar of sand is not breaking that glass up there? Hello? No gifts! <laughs> that was really, really amazing. That was really incredible. It's rare that I've had something like that ever happen in my life. So then I'm just supposed to wait until this whole planet, like, empties out of sand and then I gotta find my way inside this thing. I gotta come up from the bottom. Why? It's a little triggered. They spared no expense. Spared no expense. I want my windows. Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? <laughs> that was crazy! Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the, that's the, those are the, um, those are the twins. Whoa, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh my gosh. No, it's gonna yeet you. That's the twins. Okay, right? Yeah, so like that sends me over to Ember. Although, maybe not. Because one of them has like the, tor the tornado-y thingy around it. I just got yeeted. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, okay. I gotta see. <laughs> Sunglasses. I think what needs to happen is I basically need to wait until the sand empties out and then I have to go in from like a different angle because it has an entrance in there the door is broken, but it has an entrance coming up from the bot. Whoa. So it has an entrance coming up from the bottom, but I can't get to the bottom until all the sand goes away. I also just had a conversation with my dad the other day. He called me and asked me how I was doing. Look, there's a cave. No, there's not. Dang it. This would be a really perfect place to do ascend right there. He asked me how I was doing and I was explaining all these things. Oh, I was explaining all these things about, you know, like all the hoops I've had to jump through regarding all my mom's estate and like all the stuff. 
It's already visible? What? I beg your pardon. Okay, well, that's scary, so we're gonna let that pass. Oh! I see. Okay, kind of, maybe. Kind of. And I realized I talked to my dad for like 48 minutes. And then after I got off the phone- Oh no! Oh my gosh, no! After I got off the phone with him, I was like, oh my gosh, he's probably like, man, Susie can freaking talk forever. What is that even like? <laughs> is it visible? Around here? Maybe? Back entrance. I don't see a, an entrance anywhere. <laughs> Pretty visible. What? Oh. Back here? Oh. No. Why? No. 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 Oh. Okay. Wait, it's been up there this whole time? Are you serious? That's true. My dad can definitely. Oh, there's cactuses in the way. Dang it. Okay. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and idea? IDA? IDA? Pro progressing with sun station plans. Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Pi, you know I don't find that funny. How curious. Raimi thinks I'm a gas. <laughs> and I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation. I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this. And I don't recall supporting the sun station's construction, but here we are. Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station would be That's beneficial wild. to both of you. <laughs> I'm Outer immensely wild. interested in testing your <laughs> hypothesis, Yarrow. That, at least, we can agree on. Okay, but... Cacti. Everywhere. Literally. Are these quantum cacti? The ones that disappear? You only need to wait a minute, but I waited for like 10 minutes. I thought it was like way down at the bottom. Spaceship! 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 <laughs> okay, so this just in. These are not quantum cacti. But I don't understand. No. I don't understand. Unknown? Oh. <gasps> Cave shard. No, that's on Ember. Is there a quantum shard around here somewhere? Making cactus. Oh man! Son of a half troll. Where's my ship? Not close enough, probably. Well, if these curtains of sand would move. Oh yeah, ships floating away. Gosh, dang it. Okay, well now I know, but that doesn't make any difference though, because I still can't, I still can't navigate in here because there are cactus everywhere. And the fact that I don't have, that I don't have a weapon is so infuriating. Why would you ever, ever traverse space without a weapon? If only there was a different material that didn't hurt to walk on that you could fill in all the gaps and not poke your suit. <laughs> Maybe if you didn't wait so dang long, Susie. Maybe. Okay, but wait. How is those things though? Cause like, look at me checking this all out before I die. But if you, but if you, but even with the sand, yeah, you've got to be so fast. That's really promising though. The fact that. We can, I, I remember, like I said, I remember telling myself I need to go and figure out where all those warp stations lead to. And then I just kept getting distracted. That was on my to-do list, but I just kept getting distracted. Um, so that is what I want to do next, which we'll probably have to wait until next stream tomorrow because I have to go get my daughter from the bus stop. Um, 
Yeah. But that so is smart. really, really, that's helpful. Um, I still don't hey, entirely know what really cool. my, I mean, I, I think, like you a lot. I don't know. I Maybe think I know kind of what I'm trying to do. Stuff. Obviously, I'm trying to figure out the time loop. Cleaners, thank you so much for following my channel. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your help and everything. I am so happy you're here. Happy you stumbled on my little corner, a little corner of the interwebs. Um, yeah, I don't like listening to myself suffocate. That's really horrifying. My controller lasted the whole time. I'm kind of amazed. I'll go charge it now. Um, I, uh, a stool. Sit that's on what me. I'll don't, do. Don't oh, do Carlos, how are you? Oh, perfect. I'm so glad I got to see you. I'm just getting ready to go get Charlotte from the bus, but, um, uh, but this is what, this is what we will do tomorrow. We will try and get to the sun station and then, um, gosh, I have so many things I want to do. I still want to figure out that anglerfish situation. That whole sunless city is like, I have so many places I have to go and explore there, but it takes kind of a while to get there. So it's kind of a pain to get there. If you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Full of noodles. No, I don't feel like today was filled with a lot of backseat gaming. It was fine because realistically, I also have to kind of, there's kind of a line between like taking forever with a game because I'm, it's just not clicking with me or like, I don't know. I, I, I didn't mind today. I thought today was fine. Today's today was, was, was just fine. Um, but if it, but if it ever does reach that point, then I will definitely, definitely let chat know. But, um, there's so much about this game that is so, I honestly, I don't know if I would have continued playing this game if I'd been playing it on my own because I'm just so not used to this. I'm so not used to, um, you know, being like hey, yeah. having no hand holding whatsoever, but they've done a really great job of making it so interesting, but they, but they really do a good job of making you feel so euphoric every time you do make a discovery. I do love that. That's a, that's a nice hit. <laughs> that's a good, like, hi. You're like, yes, did it. Found something else out. But, um, ultimately, um, like Paladrin says, ultimately it's about having fun and I am still having a good time with this game. What will happen with nobody saves the world? I'm not really sure because with not streaming on Thursdays, although this Thursday is a little bit up in the air because we have some things going on that I may be able to stream and maybe not. And then of course I go to Boston next week. But um, I, I'm not entirely sure what will happen because if I don't stream on Thursdays, that only leaves us one day to play an indie game and that'll take forever to make it through. So I don't know. Um, but um, I haven't given up on that boss in Lies of P either, but I'm not gonna make you guys sit, me, sit and watch me <laughs> throw myself at that over and over and over again. So I've gotta go get Charlotte from the, I was just about to say airport, bus stop, wow. I'm gonna go get Charlotte from the bus stop. Um, but um, I, I really, really appreciate everybody being here, everybody's uh, help and hints, and they were all kind of vague, which, which I appreciated. Um, and I appreciate everybody's support. I am still just kind of- See you later. Still reeling from the gift yesterday and for everybody's kindness. That was just, that was so amazing. And I'm really grateful I have that yeah. moment like crystallized, you know, in time and and- it's, I've had a lot of big moments done on stream. Like I found out my mom passed away on stream. That was really, really crazy. Um, I knew it was coming, but still that was kind of just shocking. But anyway, so just remember you guys all matter. Every single one of you, you're important. You matter. Each one of you has unique talents and gifts that you offer the world and that you offer my community. I also do have a discord. So if you'd like to join that, that's another, that's more of this. It's more of just, Good vibes, positivity. My goal with streaming is to spread just good vibes. So, um, but I appreciate the follows and everything. I really, really appreciate it a lot. Don't ever forget how much you matter. And also don't ever forget that you never know what people are going through and you should always choose kindness. Always, always, always. Cause nine times out of 10, somebody's going through something rough, whether you oh. know it or not. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Uh, I, uh, appreciate everybody and I appreciate the follows and all that stuff. And hopefully I will see you guys on my discord later. 
And I'll be back tomorrow and I'm gonna go get my baby from the bus stop. So you are all wonderful people. Keep being wonderful people. I hope everybody has an excellent rest of their day, night, whatever. And I will see all of you guys next time. Adios. See you later. See you later.